Hey there guys, welcome back to Tower Tech. I'm continuing on my Hue journey. I've got myself the Light Strip Plus from Philips. I've put this to the back of my desk, so I appreciate I've done, I think this is the fourth video in a week on Hue stuff. I'm really into it at the moment. It's driving my beloved a little bit potty. I promise I will do some videos about something else, but let's have a look at the Hue Light Strip Plus. Roll the credits. So it's got the usually sleek, minimalistic packaging. The instructions are light and straightforward, as we have seen in all of the other Hue products that I've bought over the last week or so. It was dead simple to take out the box. It was really simple to attach to the back of the desk. Pulling the desk out was loads more effort than actually fitting the strip itself, which was as straightforward as removing some backing from some adhesive strips that were on, on the strip itself. Now I've had problems in the past where LED light strips have not been particularly sticky and I've had to use glue to secure them. Had absolutely no such problems with the Philips Hue Strip Plus. They, the adhesive strips absolutely did what they needed to and connecting the extension to the main strip was also really straightforward to do. The strip's relatively flexible, it was easy to mould around corners, etc. So I've actually got it running all the way across the back and up one side of the desk, and it looks fantastic given that it's tucked away in the corner there. Of course then my OCD kicked in and I needed to get my hammer and my cable tacks out, make sure they're all arranged nicely underneath the desk. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. It's I can't I can't have messy cables under the desk, so they've, they've got to be tidied away. Once the unit was plugged in, the LED strips immediately came on, pushed the desk back in, and it's time to go to the Philips Hue app. So I've got my iPhone here, go into the Philips Hue app, and I presume we're going to want to discover additional light. Let's see how long this takes. I found with the bulbs, the, you've actually had to put the serial numbers in now actually it's picked that up straight away that's much much quicker than the bulbs the bulbs I've actually had to go in I've had to put the exact serial number in for it to be able to detect it so that is good news right detected it's flashing so we will make that part of the room I think we'll actually rename that Okay, fantastic, so that's now renamed, and set that up in the room. Perfect. So saving could take a while. There we go, done. Really simple straightforward to do i think that these products are absolutely fantastic i am really 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 impressed with them need to stop spending money on them though so there we go guys this will be the final video in the hue series but it won't be the last video in the home automation series so keep your eyes peeled for that and just to give you a little bit of insight into the videos I'm likely to be doing in the next couple of days, my water cooling loop is in need of some maintenance. It's been about eight months since I put that fluid in there, so it needs replacing. You can get algae and all sorts of stuff. Uh, nasties growing in your loop if you don't regularly change the water. So rather than just flush it and replace it with blue fluid, I've decided that I'm going to change the color theme of the computer, which means I'm gonna to have to strip some of the components down. So make sure you're subscribed so that you catch that video. It's gonna be fantastic. You can really see the gubbins inside the SMA A8 and as we strip stuff out and refill the loop. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. 
I hope you're well wherever in the world you are, and I'll see you in my next video.